Nero puppy is looking very unimpressed. Probably because the door is closed. But he's stuck out here with the fire. He loves it. He loves having a bra. It's one of his favorite things. But right now, he knows that mommy's inside, probably making some food, preparing some meat, and he wants in on it. Or he wants it in him. <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing for Nero. You know, wanting in on some meat. Look at him. That's what he does when he wants something. I should know that I should open the door, but I'm not going to. He has to stay out here with me, right now. Else he's just going to be begging for food inside. Not that he really begs. He asks very, very nicely. I wouldn't call that begging. Nuh-uh. But, there you go. This is called a braai, or a barbecue, I suppose. People call it a barbecue. The fire doesn't look so glorious right now. It'll get better, though. These things, they mature with age. You know, I just started it up right now. Do you like my technique? I don't, I don't even know if I could call that a technique. I just stacked a bunch of logs on top of each other and lit it. And somehow, somehow it stayed ablaze. Nero's out here too. He's, he's, he's going to look much more into it when we're both out here. Because right now he's just worrying about what could be happening inside. All the interesting stuff going on there. My boy, rather stay out here. See, your rope is here. He actually sat down at the door. And, well, both myself and his mommy were out here, and he just stared at the door because he wanted to bring his good friend Rope out. He said, well, Daddy, a bri isn't a bri without my good friend Rope, and now Rope is here, and now Nero wants to go back inside. My boy, that's not nice of you. Oh, goodness. He really wants to go inside. Okay, anyway, so, we're going to be brying some burovors today, okay, so we're going to show it to you. Don't worry. Not yet, of course. We have to wait till there are some coals here. The fire will survive. It might look like it's going to die, but it won't. It's because it's very windy, and, you know, as you can see, it's a bit smoky here, too. We're not very good at this. We hardly ever do this. When my parents were here, then every single Friday afternoon, this would happen. They would be sitting around this table, and they'd be making a fire there to put all sorts of nice stuff on it. To eat. You know? That would have happened every single Friday, without fail. But with us... <laughs> We don't do it every Friday. That doesn't happen. It's firstly too much effort for us, and secondly we don't like stinking like smoke every single day, or every single week at least. But, you know, it's nice every now and then. And we're going to prepare some food. As I said, I'm going to show you what it is, so I'm probably going to stop recording in just a second, and then jump back to when there are some coals and when we actually put the meat on. We don't usually eat, like, red meat at all, but every now and then it's nice, and... I don't know, it's Easter weekend, so we thought we'd celebrate. And this is how we're doing it. I just hope Nero's gonna warm up to the idea. Because he's not looking so happy right now. He's actually looking very sulky. Oh, oh, and look at this. This is my plant. I actually picked this. I like broke it off a plant while we were walking on the cliff paths. And it's growing. It's growing quite nicely. It's actually amazing. And these are right pandas. The rest of them, those ones over there are dead. Don't even look at them. Those <laughs> were actually mine. But... They, I didn't think they'd grow anyway. And our avo trees are absolutely huge. Look at them. They're looking amazing. They're looking amazing. So, that's probably going to it for now. I'll be back soon. So don't go anywhere. Oh, you're having a bit of a snack snack, my boy. A log snack snack. It looks very nice. Nero actually had that one. And then the other one that's on the pile right now. And then he chose this one. He's settling with this one. Because it looks the most gnarly of the lot. Wow, it's very nice. You just enjoy that, my boy. Wow, look at that. It's looking very nice. So, what we've got here is, that's the sausage, or burrowors. Doesn't matter what I don't call it. The chops were in there. It's already on the fire, actually. They're over there, as you can see. And those are, I don't know, we've never had this before. Heat and eat 10 garlic butter filled dough balls. Now that looks amazing. We couldn't say no to that. How could we? You, you make them on the fire, as you do the rest of the stuff, and we're going to be brying those. I keep trying to think of an English word to use, but there isn't really an English word that's as effective, except maybe barbecue, but I don't like the sound of that. Sorry, if you say barbecue, hey, hold on. What is it, boy? What is it? Is there something in the house? My boy, what is it? Are you barking at your reflection? Probably just telling his reflection how handsome he is. There's nothing in there. If there's anything, it's probably like a bird or something, because he really dislikes birds in our house. And they come in our house all the time. But, right now what we're going to do is we're going to put that on the grid. 
that's the grid over here. I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to put it on here. And we're going to put it back in the fire. It's going to be amazing. And that's some juice. Orange and raspberry. It's quite nice. So, here. This is it. My lovely assistant over here is going to help me. <laughs> okay. She's going to put it in while I lift it. It's a two-man job, as you can see. And apparently she doesn't want to touch it with her hands. I don't know why she wouldn't want to. It looks amazingly good. Oh, this... This could take all afternoon. <laughs> oh man, oh man, this is a sloppy job. We can edit this part out. We can just skip to when it's on the grid. <laughs> and ready to heat. So that, it might look a little bit disgusting, but it re just leave it like that, that's fine. There you go. But it really isn't. It's going to taste amazing. So we're going to squash it up in here now. We're going to throw it on the fire. And we're going to wait. And then we're going to eat it. On those hot dog rolls over there. It's going to be amazing. Well, I can't wait. We haven't had this kind of food since, I don't know, the last time we were with my parents. So, it's a bit of a treat for us. There's some tomato sauce, all gold. Some margarine. I put lots of that on my rolls. I don't know. I don't want no dry roll, okay? That's just not cool. And that's the marinade that she whipped up. I don't know what it is. But I'm sure it's going to taste absolutely amazing. So, when we return, we shall be ready to feast. Hopefully. Hopefully. Listen to that. Sizzling goodness. And the coals are looking perfect right now. And Nero, he destroyed a pile of logs. He really went at it. So, <laughs> I'll start recording again when that's ready. Okay, 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 okay. Before I forget, I have to tell you what everything is. So those over there are lamb chops. And those are those garlicky balls of goodness that I spoke about before. And that, the sausage, the buddhavors, as it's called here, is pork and beef, okay? It's just a pork and beef sausage. It's quite simple and it's quite enjoyable. It really is. So, we're going to wait till it's done now because it's well on its way to completion. And then we're going to put it on our rolls over here and we're going to enjoy it. It's going to be amazing. Ooh, that's looking very nice. Nero seems to be enjoying something over there too. But, they've been cut up. It's off the grid now. The two chops are still on there. The little garlic balls have been done. We actually ate some of them. I couldn't, we couldn't resist. They were just so good looking and they tasted amazing. Wow. Little garlic butter explosions in your mouth. It was really good. So, I'm going to take this piece and put it on there. And this is how it's going to be. I'm not a big fan of the tomato sauce. So if I could get off my fork. Seriously. Seriously, sausage. I'm not a big fan of the tomato sauce or other condiments. So I'm probably going to have it just like that. There's lots of margarine on there. So, as I said, it's not going to be dry. But that's going to be it. That's what we're eating. We're actually going to have salad later as well. and uh, But that's much later. Right? We don't want to taint this meal with anything really healthy. You know, that's the idea. So, that is what I would call a traditional meal. Super white bread. A nice thick piece of sausage. And I don't know if these are really traditional or anything like that. But the sausage, the chops over there, the buns. You know, making Budavors rolls. They're really nice. Hope you guys enjoyed this. We didn't really go into too much detail. I mean, I don't really know what's in there. I just know it tastes incredibly good. And it's a bit of beef and pork, as I said. But that's about all I know. So, we're going to feast now. And I will no doubt be vlogging again soon. So, check back here soon for more. I can't really wait around because I'm super hungry. My mouth has been watering all day long. But, we're going to eat now. Then we're going to, like, watch a movie or something. And that's how we're going to celebrate Easter weekend. It's amazing. So, once again, check back as soon as more. Most importantly, though, happy enjoying those Budavors rolls. I'm just kidding. I can't end the video without showing you dessert. Look at that. Is that not the most glorious Easter egg you've ever seen? It looks absolutely amazing. It's called a hen egg. And I don't think I'm fooling anyone when I'm saying I'm only going to eat one. Because I'm probably going to eat like five of them. I think I might only have five left, but there's the one I'm going to eat now. It's basically just a hollow chocolate egg with like candy coating, but it is really, really good. Like the best chocolate ever and the best candy coating ever. And that's some coffee right there to complement it. The banana is not part of the dessert, it's just lying there. Sorry, banana. You can feature in some other video. Okay? Yes. Yes, Lumen. That's okay. <laughs> oh, you silly banana. Why are you talking to me? I don't know why the banana would talk to me. Okay, anyway, so that's going to be dessert. Probably going to have like 
a hundred of those eggs because it's Easter and we need to buy them because they all over the place. They litter these eggs throughout every single shop that you go into. We got these at Woolworths and wow. We got like once, like one little pack of them and then they were so good that we went back and bought the mega pack. It's actually embarrassing but I have to tell you that it's, it's, it's worth it. It really is worth it. So that's going to be the dessert. I might have some panda licorice later because that's also really nice but probably only much later right after I have my salad. I'm joking the salad's actually okay. I don't mind eating the salad but the salad will be much better if I know there's some licorice waiting for me after it. So that's actually the end of the vlog now. Check back here soon for more. I'm, I'm not joking this time. It's actually gonna end now and we had a really amazing meal. I hope you guys are having a really nice Easter weekend as well. I know everyone doesn't really celebrate it because it's not their thing, if they're not Christians and all that, but at least you can celebrate the public holidays. Celebrate the fact that you get a day off from work. If you get a day off from work, do you guys get days off from work? I know in South Africa and probably lots of other countries, we get this Friday off and the Monday after the weekend off as well. So it's a very long weekend and everyone's really happy about that. If you go outside, you'll hear people like, cheering in the streets and having a good time, parties everywhere and that's just for good reason, obviously. So, check back soon for more. Oh, as I said, I'm going to show you more stuff, like I'm going to show you the breakfast that I eat because it's really nice. I like it at least. I don't know if everyone else is going to like it, but I'm going to show you some other stuff. Maybe I'll make a smoothie as well and I'll talk about some games. Sounds good to me. So, check back soon for that. Most importantly though. Happy munching away on that hen egg. If you have one. If you don't, then you should probably get one and then munch away on it and be happy. Happy that.